What is vital signs? Vital signs are the evidence of the current physical functioning of the body. They provide critical information that is vital for life and so they are called as vital signs. So ultimately vital signs denotes the vital parts of the body. Vital signs include body temperature, pulse rate, respiration rate, blood pressure, oxygen saturation and pain. What are the equipments required to check vital signs? For checking vital signs, you need to have the thermometer, a stopwatch, BP apparatus, alcohol swab and case file for documentation. Now let's see about where and all we will be checking the body temperature. The areas are oral, axillary that is underarms, rectal region, temporal region and tympanic region. Before we move on to the method of checking the therm temperature, let us discuss few different types of thermometers. Digital thermometer which is very widely used in the current scenario. Rectal thermometer which is used for pediatrics especially the newborns. But rectal thermometer is not that much used in the recent scenario as it promotes uh, loose tools for the newborns. Electronic ear thermometer for checking the core body temperature. Forehead thermometer, plastic strip thermometers and pacifier thermometers. These are all the different types of thermometers which is commonly used in the recent scenario. Now let's see the procedure of checking the body temperature. First, you need to have a separate thermometer for each patient in hospitals. We have to make the patient comfortable and explain him about the procedure. We have to ensure patient didn't take hot or cold beverages half an hour prior to the procedure in case if you would like to check the oral body temperature. Wash your hands to prevent cross infection and wipe the thermometer with alcohol as well. First is oral, oral area. If you would like to check the oral temperature, you have to keep the thermometer just below the lips that is your tongue and you have to keep it under the tongue for one full minute. We have few contraindications for checking oral temperature. You should not check orally the temperature for infants and children younger than 6 years for unconscious patients, inflammations or surgeries of mouth, persistent and frequent coughing. In case if the patient frequently coughs, there is a tendency for the thermometer to fill down. Then mouth breathing patients, very weak patients who cannot close his mouth well, Aged patient that is more than 80 years of old. Very weak patients and patients with so much of tiredness. Patients with seizure disorder who have the tendency of uh, teeth bite. And patients who is on oxygen and on ventilator support. And patients with nasogastric or orogastric tube. So these are all some of the contraindications for checking oral temperature. If you are going to check the temperature in the axillary region, that is just in just below the armpit you have to keep the thermometer under the arms for two minutes also has got some few contraindications that is patients with skin disease especially over the axillary region then patients who have undergone any axillary surgeries and unconscious patients and patients who is in shock and patients with constricted peripheral blood vascular diseases these are all the few contraindications for checking axillary temperature. In case if you would like to check the anal temperature, that is rectal temperature, you have to keep it in the rectal region and it is not widely recommended. You have to confirm with the consultant or the pediatrician before checking it. So after checking the temperature, you have to wipe the thermometer again with alcohol swab. Keep it safe and secure for next use. You have to wash your hands and document in case file immediately. Next is second vital sign that is pulse rate. What is pulse rate? Pulse rate is a measurement of the heart rate or the number of times the heart beats per minute. As the heart pushes blood through the arteries, the arteries expand and contract with the flow of the blood which is termed as pulse rate. An LD huddled, the normal pulse rate will be 72 to 100. If it is more than 100, we will call it as tachycardia and if it is less than 60, we call it as bradycardia. Third is your respiratory rate. 
the respiration rate that is respiratory rate is the number of breath a person takes per minute the rate is usually measured when a person is at rest and simply involves counting the number of breath for one full minute by counting how many times the chest rises this is how you will be counting the respiratory rate an healthy adult usually will have the respiratory rate between 16 to 18 and if it is more than 30 we call it as tachypnea and if it is less than 10 10 we will call it as bradypnea next is your blood pressure blood pressure is the force of the blood pushing against the artery walls during contraction and relaxation of the heart two numbers are usually recorded when measuring blood pressure the higher number or the systolic pressure refers to the pressure inside the artery when the heart contracts and pump blood through the body the lower number or diastolic pressure refers to the pressure inside the artery when the heart is at rest and is filling with blood the normal blood pressure is 120 by 80 so 120 is called as systolic pressure and 80 is called as diastolic pressure and healthy adult normally will have blood pressure of 120 by 80 if it is more than 140 by 90 in three consecutive regions along with the associated findings we will call it as hypertension next is your oxygen saturation level commonly called as spo2 oxygen saturation is the fraction of oxygen saturated hemoglobin relative to total hemoglobin of the blood the human body requires and regulates a very precise and specific balance of oxygen in the blood normal oxygen saturation level is 95 to 100% finally we have the sixth vital signs which is called as pain pain is usually termed as subjective data which can be measured with various pain rating scales we have for example numeric scale visual analog scale wong becker scale these are all the different types of scale that indicates patient's pain so we have come to the end of this video so in this video you we have seen uh, about checking the vital signs of the patient which include the temperature pulse respiration blood pressure saturation and pain which is the sixth important vital signs of the body so by checking the vital signs of the patient it indirectly denotes the ultimate vital function of the patient's body so any derange or any abnormalities which we find we can able to save the life of the patient the simple vital signs will create a big impact in patient's life hope this video is very useful to you all and please continue watching our upcoming videos thank you